Hello, Spoiler TV fans. My name is Jerry with Spoiler TV, and welcome back to the channel for a brand new video. In today's video, we are talking all things X Men 97. Premiering on Disney Plus on March 20th, Marvel's X Men 97 gave fans all the feels with its 90s nostalgia. So grab a bowl of cereal, sit back, and let's talk about it. X Men 97 can be described as the best adaptation of the X Men that fans have ever gotten. The show gave us drama, flair, comedy, and action. Watching the show is pure fun for comic book fans. In 10 episodes, the show was able to touch on multiple comic book story arcs, albeit at a very fast speed. We got Inferno, we got Montendo, we got Asteroid M, and of course we got the now infamous, Remember It. The show made sure to let us know that any one of our favorites were not safe, which is exactly how things are supposed to go on a comic book show. Not everyone lives, the heroes do not always win, and if they do, it comes at a very heavy cost. We had great character development. Our favorite Boy Scout Cyclops had layers upon layers. His powers were amplified to much more than shooting optic blasts at one note. He used his powers in various ways, which showed why Professor X chose him as leader in the first place. The Summers family had great moments, with Jean being the Phoenix, Cable coming back through time, but they were not the only ones. Morph was amazing this season. He gave us great cameos, hello Avengers, and not only did he take on their appearance, he gained their powers, which was brilliant. He gave us the most comedic moments throughout the entire season, teasing Wolverine about Jean, teasing Gambit about Magneto and Rogue. And speaking of Wolverine, he finally was not the focus, but he did have a few moments. And when he had those moments, he did what needed to be done. X-Men 97 really went there, showing us for the first time in their animation, Wolverine stabbing someone. For all his talk in the previous cartoon, he never stabbed another person before. This show isn't what we grew up with. It's so much more, and we love to see it. The love triangle between Rogue, Magneto, and Gambit gave us soap opera goodness, while Gambit making the ultimate sacrifice broke our hearts. The show was an absolute gem, but that does not mean it was flawless. There was not nearly enough storm. Yeah, she had her big transformation and the show recognized that she's an Omega level mutant goddess. But after that, she was not allowed to unleash in the final three episodes, which was a huge missed opportunity. Bastion in the comics is, is a one-off villain. And he didn't seem to be such a big bad. And it shouldn't have been so hard for them to take him out. Perhaps that is why Storm was not used much and why we never got to see Magneto go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Season 2 is already in the editing process and Marvel is hiring a new writer for Season 3. All these behind-the-scenes changes may impact future seasons. But one thing is for certain, Season 1 is a must-watch for any comic book fan and has us all saying, to me, my X-Men. What did you think of the season, Spoiler TV fans? Let us know in the comments and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe so we can bring you more content. All right, Spoiler TV fans, until the next video.